We just got some shocking new details about the very tragic incident that happened on the Rust set involving Alec Baldwin that he does not want you to know about. And this is following some very, very bad news for him that could spell doom for his career. So let's get into this whole thing and see what is going on here. Prosecutors say Alec Baldwin skipped safety training for the Rust film. Here's the first money quote. Statements and evidence show Alec Baldwin was not present for required training prior to the commencement of filming for Rust. Statements, depositions from OSHA, and evidence show Baldwin was provided only minimal training on firearms even after Armour and co-defendant Reed uh, requested more training for Baldwin. In the deposition taken from Reed, she stated Baldwin had very limited training on the cross draw that was required required for the scene on the 21st in limited training and firearms and how to check uh, as to whether it was unloaded or loaded in which Reed felt was very important in his role on Rust. This is absolutely insane and really just shows just how completely messed up Hollywood is. And it sounds like he really just thought of it as a complete joke. The limited training on the cross draw is important to note because the cross draw was what Baldwin was practicing when he accidentally shot and unfortunately ended the life of Hutchins and wounded writer director Joel Souza. The cross draw is a tricky move. You are uh, pulling the weapon from the opposite side of your hand. According to prosecutors, when Baldwin did find time for training, he didn't, didn't take it very seriously. This is a massive, massive problem. A training session for at least an hour or more in length was scheduled, but the actual training consisted of only 30 minutes as according to Reed, Baldwin was distracted and talking on his cell phone to his family during training. This really, really is bad, bad news for Alec Baldwin. This could make everything just completely fall apart for his defense. The DA filing also makes mincemeat of Baldwin's laughable claim he did not pull the trigger. Baldwin approached responding deputies on the day of the shooting wanting to talk to them because he was the one who discharged the weapon. So according to authorities, at first Baldwin admitted that he fired the weapon, but then Baldwin later asserted he never fired it and that it had just gone off. Right, sure, yeah, because that totally happens with the revolver. It just goes off, just magically. And this really just shows... Just how much of a lack of respect people like Alec Baldwin, these leftist lunatics have when it comes to the Second Amendment. They despise the Second Amendment. They want to see it completely destroyed. And that really, this paints a stark difference in how these people treat the Second Amendment versus people like you and me who actually have respect for the Second Amendment and understand the the, the weight that it has, you know, we understand the responsibility and the weight that comes with, with holding one of these weapons and using it, you know what I mean? But people like Alec Baldwin do not have that respect. This sounds like a pretty convincing case for a felony that could land Baldwin in prison for 18 months. Listen, I don't like Alec Baldwin, but due process is due process and he has a right to due process. This was an accident, a terrible accident with no intent to harm anyone. Now, I do believe that is indeed the case. A lot of people think that there's a lot more malice behind what Alec Baldwin did. I don't think that is the case, but it is very clear that he was completely irresponsible with this entire thing. Not just him, but a lot of people that were involved with this film, which happened to be a lot of anti-Second Amendment leftists. Imagine that. In my book, Intent Matters. Baldwin doesn't only face jail time, he also faces the annihilation of his whole life, his career, his legacy, the way his children will remember him, and possibly his fortune. But the fact of the matter is that this really just shows the hypocrisy of Hollywood. This shows the hypocrisy, unfortunately, of how a lot of these people view people who actually know how to responsibly handle these types of things. And they despise us. They despise the the responsibility and the weight that we give these types of things.
With that being said, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.